Hi, I'm Adrienne Chin. I'm an interior designer based in London, England. Today I'm going to talk to you about an aspect of interior design. Today we're going to look at a home office, or what I like to call a study. Uh, I quite like studies to be quite warm and feel a bit cocooning when you go into them. It just kind of envelops you and I find encourages me to work. I find if studies or home offices are a bit too bright, I don't sit down that long. I, I tend to like to get up and get myself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. So I do quite like a little bit of a cocooning effect when I go into my uh, workspace. Now what I've developed here is a very warm, uh, welcoming, uh, enveloping uh, design for a study. I've started with a very nice warm oak floor here. They call this uh, mist. It has a very slight grayish tone to the, the oak. Nice wide planks, which uh, always help a small room, and studies and home offices tend to be quite small. Wide plank wood floors tend to help visually widen the room, so they're quite a good idea to have. Very practical as well. Alternatively, if you want something a little bit more comfortable underfoot, I've chosen this very practical natural weave wool carpet. This is wall to wall and uh, this is a nice neutral color, kind of a taupe color that would work very well with any type of scheme really. So you have an alternative of a wood or a, a carpeted floor. Now what I've done is I've uh, started with a wall color that tones with either of these choices. Uh, this is called Tuscan Earth. It's from uh, Fired Earth and it's just a very warm neutral color. So I've started with that. I would do the woodwork in a, in a soft white color. And what I've also done to add some interest and a little bit of a sense of humor, a little bit of wit to a room, is to have one feature wall uh, full of these books. So you're in a home office, you're in a study, why not have a feature wall full of your books here? And that just adds a little bit of fun to the room, I think. Then what I've done is I've chosen this very nice wool sateen stripe in the grey and the warm tones which you see also in your wallpaper and which are reflected in your floor and rug colours, your carpet colours. And I've used these as either curtains or a Roman blind, depends what size your window is, but I would use it either way. As a Roman blind it's very nice because you do see the whole stripe across the, um, the blind, so uh, I think I probably prefer it as a Roman blind. And then your desk chair, I've considered upholstering a desk chair, and this is a faux suede, which is very tough, easily wipeable if you get an ink stain on it or anything like that, and very comfortable to sit in. If you're working at home a lot, it's nice to have a chair that's both ergonomic and is comfortable, the fabric is comfortable. Then it's quite nice if you have the space to have a sofa bed in your home office or study. Sometimes it's nice to have a, a sit on, on that and have a read rather than sit at your desk. And quite often people's uh, home offices uh, double up as guest bedrooms. So I've chosen this quite nice wool, uh, very hard wearing again and it has that light grey tone, but what, also, what it also does, it picks out a very warm yellow, which I've now then used as some cushions on the sofa. This is a cotton velvet. Um, it's very sturdy, so that would look very nice. It picks out that warm yellow, and it ties with the colour of the floor, if you have the oak floor. So it adds warmth to your scheme. And I've also put a few cushions in the same fabric, just a different colourway, in this very warm taupe, which tones with the colour in your Roman blind. So what we've got here is a neutral scheme. Your accent colour is this warm gold tone, which tones with your floor and this fabric. And um, we've also played with a variety of patterns. We've got this plaid on the sofa. We've got the stripe on the Roman blinds, and then we have this really fun accent wall of uh, books, which I think just adds a little bit of an unexpected touch to the room and gives it a bit of a sense of humor. 
If you want some further information or some ideas about interiors, you might want to have a look at my book, which is called The Home Decorator's Color and Texture Source Book. You can buy that on my website at www.adriannechin.co.uk.